just be out, out with us to the Maldives. We are at Mafushi, the most commercial local island in the Maldives. And you are watching the entire island a walking tour. Yes, you heard me right. We are going to walk around the entire island real time so you get to see where is what, what's good, and just how far everything is from everything. Right, and we are going to start um, on the side of the island that is the most busiest as far as the hotels, restaurants, things to do. Bikini. And then we'll work, yes, and we'll then work our way to the other side of the island. And as you can see behind us, this is the Mafushi sign. So this is going to be our starting point. So if we are on one side of the island and we want to jump because we covered that side, instead of walking all the way back through everything you've seen before, we will then start from this point and then take on another side or another part of the island. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we are Just, Just Be, Be Out. Out. We create informative travel videos so you get the most out of your vacation. And if you've been watching our videos, you know this walking tour is a part of what we do here on this channel. We walk you around so you can make the best decision and know where everything is. By the time you hit this island, you'll know where all the restaurants are, where the best places. And of course, we've done videos on um, different excursions that you can do here. We've done reviews on it, hotels. We show you what the hotels look like. So without further ado, let's get into this walking tour, shall we? Just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. And the Mafushi sign is located here at the harbor. Here you will also find a rock with some manta rays on top of it. And this is where you would arrive when you take a boat. Yes. So to get to Mafushi, you need to take a speedboat from Mali. It takes anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes and it only costs $25 each way per person. We actually took this company, ICOM, ICOM. Uh, and we uh, booked it directly on their website. But every hotel pretty much have their own transfers. And what's cool about this is that as soon as you arrive, they take your luggage on a little buggy and they will bring it to the hotel. Right, so this island, this part here of the island is very important because this is where you will arrive. This is where um, all the staff from the hotel will greet you and they will take your luggage and then take you, uh, shuttle your, hotel, your luggage to your hotel. And also when you are departing, they will come here and then they will wave you goodbye as you get on your transport. And here also where you will hop on all different excursions and boat tours and from here, this is where they all depart as well. And at this time right now, it is just um, noon. So basically all, all the tours, I should say, are probably uh, are gone by now and they're out doing their thing. You will notice the streets are kind of bare. It's kind of empty. Again, a lot of people are out doing excursions. This is what this island is known for. Yeah, so this is the stand for ICOM Tours. ICOM is actually a hotel, a tours, shuttle, Wi-Fi. They have everything. We will take you to the hotels uh, just a little bit later. Uh, behind there, they have another ICOM entire store of tours and all different operations services. And here we have a Palm Cafe where they have some fresh juices, ice cream, it's very affordable, milkshakes. So and we're not going to go over too much with, with uh, pricing here. We've had other videos where we spoke about pricing, but we're just giving you a general outlook of where things are. And if they are price listed, then we'll just kind of stop for a moment just so you could see what the pricing is. Right, and the reason really why it's also closed off, it's Ramadan right now and they have the afternoon prayer. Yes. This is Symphony Lagoon Restaurant and Crystal Sands Hotel. We're just going to pop into different hotels to show you what the lobby looks like, again, where the location is. Located. And you see all this seating out here. This is, again, whenever there's a lot of these hotels, they have breakfast included. So you would come out here and eat your breakfast if weather permitted. And if not, some of them also do have uh, indoor dining, indoor seating. They have Simply Exotic, Kristen Sands. Why not? Simply Exotic. Very interesting. Oh, that's a nice lobby. They have yes, some this indoor is a seating. Lobby. Again, buffet set up in case it's raining. I really like this right. setup. Hello. So here is the buffet setup. You'll notice most of the hotels we walk into, they will have some type of buffet setup. Oh, they have koi fishes with the little pond. Yes, yeah, really so cool. Cute. 
This is a nice And this one. is their reception desk here. <laughs> How are you? Um, just touring around. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's a beautiful hotel. And here also they Call have like excursion hotel. desk. So all you will see the excursion desk by every hotel and very popular different uh, day tours to different islands, uh, different island resorts. And as you can see, the pricing again, just generally speaking, about $30 per person, you can do um, sunset fishing, which is really great. Irina and I have done that and there are different type of activities. And here the pricing for them again, which is very, very, very affordable. We did this. Um, and again, through your hotel, you can book this. Every hotel allows you to book these type of tours. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let's so let's back cut to back street. into what we call the main street because that's where you'll find and I don't know if you guys can hear, but yes, that is a crow. There are a lot of crows on this island and they're always quacking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mafushi Island is located on Kafu Atoll. And it's, it's pretty close uh, to Mali. That's why it, it is one of the popular islands, local islands here. You and will see um, a lot of motorbikes on this island, yeah. a lot of mopeds. Um, that's how the locals kind of get around is on mopeds. So you'll see a lot of that here. Few vehicles, but not that many at all. And in this area, we're starting to, you're going to see a lot of um, jet skis and water sports. And again, there's no one here because it's, it's, prayer, time. it's prayer time. So they're not in their booths, but technically they would be in their booths. And the cool thing about this though, is that as we walk down this strip here, you're going to see a lot of different activity and tour companies. But when you're walking down um, this street, no one really hassles you. It's not your typical place. Like if you go to like Mexico or anything like that, where you're going to have people saying, Hey, come over here, book with us and putting flyers in your face. These guys, they stay in their booths and you approach them. And if you have any questions, they answer it. But the reason being also um, why that is, is because pretty much all the tours are exactly the same price. So no matter what tour you take, so there's no really cause for uh, like competitive, uh, competing or trying to beat them down. As you can see, the pricing is already low to begin with. Yeah, and this is a sea drop tours. Uh, we took this tour to see uh, the nurse sharks. We took package three, three. We had an amazing time with them and we highly recommend you to go on a tour with sea drop there snorkel masks are actually one of the best snorkel masks I've had from a tour company and their fins are really comfortable as well so I just want to show you really quickly just this this map area just to get so you could get an idea this is the entire island here is the harbor we started our tour right in this area here this is where you will arrive and this is where you will depart we came down this street and this is the area here where it's mostly densely populated this and is the tourist area the tourist area exactly right here, here all the water sports the Hotels, streets where we're walking a rest a restaurants shops, and shops yeah. right and then along this way is bikini beach that's where you're able to wear your bikini on this side of the island you're not but we'll all we'll show you all of that and this restricted area is actually a prison yes there is a prison here on this island so here briefly you could see most of these places jet ski, fun tube sailing, kayak, um, stand up paddle board, knee board, wake board, surfing, fly board, banana boat. It's like anything water related sports you will find here. This island, we learned that within the first few hours of arriving here, it's all about fun in the sun here. And at a very, very affordable price compared to a lot of places we've been. And actually, comes nighttime. I was really surprised that there is a lot of fun at night as well. We were at the party, beach party. The DJ was playing music, everyone was dancing. This is Salt Beach Tours. Mm -hmm. And they also have a Salt Beach a boutique hotel boutique right hotel, behind right it. Behind. There is a Lea Spa and the Sky rooftop restaurant that's uh, also one of the popular restaurants we will check it out later mm -hmm. so you will see one or two shops open but um, not really again because it's prayer time so coming to the Maldives you will see whale sharks 
pictures or drawings or art everywhere and here on this island they also offer whale shark tours but they actually take you to another island where we just were digura island uh, uh, all the whale sharks are around south ari atoll so when you see that there are whale sharks here they're actually not here around this atoll mm -hmm. they will take you on a tour to another atoll so if you if that's something you would like to see consider watching our other videos um, on the Maldives series and we will show you what the experience is like on a whale shark trip yes yeah, so you technically don't really want to take a whale shark from this island and again we've shot videos where there are optimal places for you to go to see the whale shark. If that's what you're here for, you yeah. might not want to come to this island. It there are a lot of other you islands. It an hour and a half on the speedboat just to get to the location right. for the whale shark. Hello, how are Hi. you? So here's the beachfront with all the water, water sport sports. activities. Bonnie, right? You guys do uh, parasailing too, right? Yeah. Here. So they do parasailing as well here. And they're about to go out on a, one of the tubes with the jet ski. And this is the back end of all the shops that we saw that have kayaks and stuff like that. They have drones. And the boat you can actually see, uh, it's, it's really funny. So if you've been watching our videos, you know that you are not allowed to drink alcohol on the local islands, but the loopholes is that if you're on a private island resort, or on a boat like that that is a bar club boat and it's really funny because they shuttle you from here they take you on a little boat to bring you to the club and you can purchase alcohol there a la carte it's really cool yeah that's the loophole you yeah. can't have alcohol on the island but you can have it off on the water and we have some party going on over there it's really cool our friend lisa is uh -huh. there and um, what we want to say here, on this island, it's very populated. I have not seen more Russians in one place than when I was in Moscow. I would say Russian speaking. Yes, I Russian would, speaking. I don't know if everyone is from Russia or Yeah, other there are countries. so many, yeah, Russian speaking here. And we're going to see our friend uh, Lisa. Lisa. She's been on this island for a, a month. For a month. Yeah. And she's a social butterfly. She's the one in the stripe yeah. dancing. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Shake it. Shake it. What? Get it. Hey, hey, hey. Easy no. Hey, no hurt nobody. No, no hurt nobody. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. What? Didn't we tell you about her? Yeah. The Interrust gal. Coming through now. Funny Maldivian island in my thing now. Watch it. Watch it. Then I bust it out. Big tunes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this is a lot. Yes. Let me play this song. <laughs> we are cutting back into the main street, and here you will find one of uh, a really popular restaurants. It's called Mr. Octopus. They are open for lunch and dinner. We had lunch here. The food was pretty decent and the prices you see are actually in Maldivian Rufia and the 150 Maldivian Rufia is just 10 US dollars. Right. So just, just to give you a rough yeah. estimate how much it costs. So this is just basically to show you what type of food they serve, not necessarily pricing. If you want to see the price, then you pause this video and you will see what things cost. But yeah, you could see the everything. The food was decent. Uh, let's just loop in a little bit. Yeah, we'll bit. come in here and see yeah. what the restaurant looks like. Yeah, they have shaded area, outdoor area. And your floor is sand. Right. So over there, there's a shaded area as well. And here they make smoothies and coconut Hi. juice. How are you? So again, this is a totally different island from what we've experienced so far. Um, if you've been watching our videos, we've done multiple islands here in the Maldives. And this is uh, one of the setup for romantic dinners. They actually, right. we saw them setting up romantic dinners here. It was really cute. Right, they, they put had candles lights. and lighting. Yeah. yeah, and it's all from Oct Mr. Mr. Octopus. Octopus. They're the ones yeah. that, and it's a charge of 
I think he said it was sixty dollars plus food, food from the menu, but they just up charging you for uh, the setup, which is really nice, good option. Coconuts here, five dollars um, for large ones, three about three dollars for a small one. Mm -hmm. If you want to chill, you have to find a place where they have the chilled one. And this is a uh, Kani Water Sports. We are staying in one of the Kani's properties. And again, as I mentioned before, all the hotels give you uh, different. Uh, activities they offer and they're the girls doing their thing again <laughs> again this week with the moment we got here we call this the fun island right yes. because it's totally different there's a lot of people here the vibe is different and a lot of people when we spoke to a lot of people here they're coming to the Maldives even for the first time and they come and they stay here and then they fly back from wherever they wherever it is they came from right. so coming here for them is like the actual Maldives like yeah. this is the experience forget the overwater bungalow and all that yeah so this is uh Kani hotels they have four properties this is uh one of the fruit stands many fruit stands and snacks that yeah you we will buy our, our coconuts from them the really cool chill coconuts and yes. over here there is all the streets that go across the island are actually the shops streets with shops so and we're going to cover those souvenirs in a, little bit. Uh, a little snack market and we uh, went inside Kani Grand Sea View. This is Kani Grand Sea View, one of the towers. So um, we'll just cut in and show you what it looks like in the lobby and one of the rooms. We just walked into Kani Grand and we're trying to see what the rooms look like because usually when we travel, we just book one night first and then go see if there are any other options that are better. Shoes off, and now we are at a ocean view room, right? Yeah. This is considered ocean view? Yeah. Beautiful. You have your balcony, and this is uh, right next to the Bikini Beach? Yeah, the Bikini, Bikini Beach. Beach. So Bikini Beach actually starts right here, correct? Thank you. So as soon as you walk out of the hotel, you can actually go to the Bikini Beach, but when you get back to the hotel you need to make sure you're covered up because right at the front desk hello there is a sign that no bikinis are allowed and the bathroom is pretty spacious as well the room is really spacious yeah yeah really nice nice bathroom thank you and this is only one of the four properties Kanye has and this this is Kanye Grand and they do not have a pool and they also have f six floors the next property is Kanye Palm and they have nine floors and a nice infinity pool on the very top deck overlooking the Indian Ocean and they are right next door to each other. This is Kani Palm. Again, this street uh, lined with shops. And pretty much from here, straight down, you could see the other side of the of the island. It's it's not uh, wide at all. And this is Kani Palm Beach Hotel. This is where we are staying. And the reason why we chose this hotel is because they have a pool upstairs so this is a lobby lobby looks quite simple they offer uh, their standard rooms uh, without the windows we'll show you it shortly and uh, they all the rooms come with buffet breakfast buffet this is uh, the lights are off because right. uh, so this is where the breakfast is, is served well, actually lunch and dinner is served here buffet style and this is the other side mm -hmm. and uh, this is another part of the restaurant they have again this is the indoor area uh, this is where you have breakfast they have two towers for Kanye Palm uh, this is the second tower mm -hmm. and the first tower where we just walked in both have elevators and uh, this is also the outdoor area where they have parties beach parties and also outdoor seating area for the restaurant 
So to go to the pool upstairs, we need to take the elevator. Uh, Next to the reception desk. So far, at the moment, I think this is the tallest uh, hotel. They are building another one, which is already we see it's going to be even taller. But at the moment, this is uh, the tallest, nine floors. And they have a beautiful infinity pool. So we'll see you upstairs. And we are now on the ninth floor. I always get lost in here. Okay. And this is how you get to the infinity pool, a little extra steps. And you do need a room key to access the roof deck. We did mention this is a complete walking tour, right? We are showing you all the details. And of course, if you're finding value in this video so far, we would appreciate it if you hit the click the like button. And you go. Access granted. Be careful, it's slippery here. Oh, we actually watched sunset here. If last night it was really nice. The view is gorgeous here. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And the sun sets right there in that area. It's yeah. really beautiful. You see someone parasailing. Again, there's a lot of water sports. There's some jet skis coming in and out there that boat that you could see right there that is the booze what we call the booze cruise except it doesn't go anywhere it just stays right there yeah. and you could just drink it doesn't but, cruise it, ju it just booze yep it just boozes yep <laughs> so from here you can see the water sports where the jet skis are pulling up that's the entire beach there is no bikinis allowed there it's just water sports behind that there is a harbor that's where we started our tour that's where all the boats come in and out whether it's fishing or um, transfers and uh, right at the end of the island you can see the gray walls that's actually the prison and it's located at the very tip end of the island there and, and it's really cool because from here you can see other islands in the distance and you can see just how small this island is you can see the reef really beautiful and on the other side of the island there is uh, also some hotels a lot of new hotels are being built as well and again you can see just how narrow this island is so if you're staying on the other side of the island it's a very easy walk to the bikini beach and all the action right so as we do our walking tour as i said this area where we're at right now this is the most densely populated with the most activities and things to do and shop here on that por portion of the island it's more there's not like a lot of hotels it's just a few so we'll really concentrate most of our time in the area where we feel you will more than likely stay when you come here so we are going to head back down down and show you our room uh, first we checked into a standard room and uh, there was no windows so we decided to upgrade so we'll show you both options For the sea view, uh, because here it's only thirty dollars difference. And the construction noise that you might hear uh, is actually coming from the hotel that is being built the next door. Well, it's only during the day, of course. If you're at night, you will not hear that. There's plenty of space for the bus creativity here, TV, a luggage stand, a safe, and the a miniature fridge. Here, what do we have here? We have closet with two umbrellas. And on the opposite side, we have a bathroom. Ooh. Has a sink, the toilet, stand-up shower. No, this is the only light. And the stand-up shower with two shower heads. Now, what do you think of this room? This is a much better option than where we were at the standard room. So if you're coming to Mount Fushi and planning to stay here at Kani Palm, 
be sure to book a room with a balcony. The difference on booking.com was only $30 for three nights, but yet when you come here and would want to upgrade, they will charge you $30 per day. So be sure right away book the sea view. And the main reason why we chose Kani Palm is because of the pool upstairs. We've staying here at Kani Palm for three nights and we paid $370 with all the taxes and fees. Uh, generally, it is a, a comfortable room with a balcony again not without the window. Uh, the bed is really comfortable. The hot water is really hot and uh, the location is central and I think it's pretty affordable. Uh, and now we are at the Bikini Beach. Let's go all the way to the water. So, so again, if you see. haven't watched our videos, it's called Bikini Beach. Um, not because that is the technical name for the beach, but because you are able to wear a bikini while on this beach. And in other parts of the island, bikinis are not allowed. So whether you're on this island or any other island, you'll definitely want to know that term bikini beach yes as long as it comes to the local islands actually for the private island resorts that's a loophole so as you can see water again it's still a little murky I don't know if it ever clears yeah, up yeah well, we've been here already a, a few days and the water has been like this so I think this just is the color of the water and if you've seen our other videos you'll know that the water in the Maldives is literally crystal clear so that's just the way the water is here it's a little murky So this is it for, there are two bikini beach portions. This is uh, very short and pretty much the other one is about the same. And the way this beach is really organized is that you see these jetties on the outside, these rocks on the left and rocks on the right. That's how the beach is split up and then it starts again on the other side and there are four of these little um, jetties that go out that separate the beach. And here at the corner is Arena. Sea View Hotel. We also went in to this hotel to see the room, but we'll show you the lobby first and then we'll take you to the room and the pool of Arena. Hello. So this is all for the lobby. It's pretty simple, but clean, neat, classy, and uh, again, centrally located. The other day we went upstairs to see one of the rooms and the pool so let us show you what it looks like. So we just walked into Arena. Irina's renting off her feet because we were just on the beach and we're going to check out what one of the rooms look like here. Uh, we're gonna try to get into a beach room so you guys can see what it looks like. All right. For Arena Beach Hotel and yeah. this is the sea view. Oh, it's beautiful. It has um, the view for the Bikini Beach. Oh, wow, that's Bikini Beach. Right? And yeah. the arena um, beach umbrellas are complimentary with yeah, the hotels. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you get your sunbeds and shade. Restaurant. Is that the restaurant for, yeah, for the hotel? Yeah. This one here. Okay. Yeah. You have two restaurants here. And that's your view. It's beautiful. And very nice. Small, you can go safari, boat, even. <laughs> so a small little balcony. Thank you. And this is a queen size bed. Queen size bed. Really nice. nice. Well, stiff. TV. And the bathroom. The bathroom is quite large. Mm -hmm. Nice and clean. This bathroom mirror. Yeah. Sink. It's beautiful. Thank and you. This is the closet with some water safe and miniature fridge. Yeah. And now we are heading to the eighth floor to see the pool. This hotel actually has two towers and they are also building more. Pretty cool. Looks very clean here, quiet. Okay, we are now entering the pool area. pool is really small but the view wow from the eighth floor and from here you can see the construction oh this is gorgeous very nice 
the only eyesore is the building next to it that's being built but yeah this is actually pretty cool i really like the jetties that they have in a y shape really nice view and there you see bikini beach below two jetties It is centrally located as well. It's right at the corner and right next to it. This is another tower where we just were for Kani Palm. And here is their dining area where you can get like some snacks and drinks, coffee. This is really for arena, but you can go to any restaurants. It doesn't have to belong to a specific hotel. And we were just here. This is the other side that Irina mentioned you can walk through we came through the lobby there and this is just the other side and again it opens up to the beach area let's take a quick look on the beach and this beach is actually the second part of the bikini beach they are separated by jetties and there are only like two jetty sections for the beach kani hotel and arena hotel provide complimentary lounge chairs with umbrellas and this is at night where they do their parties yeah they turn up here it was really fun they had smoke it was um uh, beam strobe lights dj so let's just walk out to one of these ice lips over here so we could show you what it looks like So again during sunset this is really beautiful to come out here you see people put their tripods out here and take video and you see it goes out into kind of like a y shape and from this point you could see both parts of where we just were here it's a nice little cove there was a sandbank out here actually you see someone walking out there it's getting a little higher in tide so right now it's up to his just about to his knees so um the sandbank kind of disappears so it comes and goes it all depends on tide over there you could see a resort and here's the other cove everyone's sunbathing and there you could get a really good look at the hotels the and the views is arena right next to it there is a second um part of kani palm and uh, they also build in another hotel. Right, which will be right there. It's be an extension. And that one looks like it's going to have an infinity pool as well, because you can see it's already, it already has the shape. That gentleman over there standing with the cap in the corner, that's actually another pool. Yeah, and that's another part of the Arena Hotel. So Arena Hotel has two towers, and Kanye has two towers here. So this island is definitely um, would be considered a budget friendly island. A lot of the people that are coming here. Yes, there are uh, guest houses, Airbnbs, hotels, boutique hotels. Uh, and the uh, Arena Hotel was actually one of the more expensive ones. So not only you can come to Mafushi for fun, but they also have wedding packages here. As you can see, they're setting up for some type of anniversary or honeymoon or something. Special event. Yes. Yeah. They have several ATMs here on the island versus like some other local islands you might not have even one ATM yeah. the boat transfers the speed boats uh, the timing really depends on the weather uh, it took us only half an hour but sometimes it can take 45 uh, minutes if the sea is choppy and they have so many different shuttles every hotel shuttle you so if you miss one or if you really need to see another timing you can actually um, 
find another transfer company. This is the second tower for the Arena Hotel. This is where the pool is located. Here they have another really nice setup for restaurants. And all of these setups are right outside the hotel. And again, another grill. So we passed by here last night and this is like one of the biggest buffets we've seen on the island, right? They have this whole area here is just filled with food and everyone comes here in the evening and I think it costs $16, $18. $18 for the buffet, yes. Right. It technically belongs to the Arena Hotel, but you can also pay separately and join the buffet. And this tower that is being built is also going to be a part of the Arena Hotel and it will be uh, Arena Grand. So as you can see that portion of the beach is closed off so that's why now we're cutting into what would be the side streets the inner streets where you would find shops and stores and yes there are a lot of tuk-tuks as well because that's what they transport your luggage to and from hotels in so let's start towards now the end going this way and then we'll just mm -hmm. kind of walk back and there are lots of souvenir shops right now. They are closed because they are doing the afternoon prayer. But in the evening after 6.30, all the shops are open. Yes. There's another boutique he, uh, hotel. It's called Rosemary Boutique. Uh -huh. They have a restaurant. I think it looks like an Indian. And again, you can see restaurant. inside, they have it's the buffet. It's a simple buffet. reception. Yeah, buffet yeah. set up in there. There's a lot of the restaurants they do offer like breakfast especially this is triton beach hotel i think they also have several towers for triton and this is also one of the popular hotels they do tours they have transfers here they have the little library section um a smoking area reception hello hi how are you Oh, over there I didn't see it okay. mm -hmm. and can we take a look thank you hi right, how are you and over here ooh, they have a pool here so this is an outdoor pool Your gaming center some foosball nice pool yes it it's is a nice outdoor little right in between buildings it's very quiet here as you can see so if you like to relax here are some lounge and chairs and uh, the setup for breakfast or dinner buffet and this is actually one of the biggest lobbies so there's the buffet area here hello how are you and here they have um, a pool table and it's really cool because this hotel goes across the entire street. So you literally can come out through another street. <laughs> and this is how you get your internet. <laughs> Every island has one of these. So Let's maybe we can just- Let's go back to the other street. It's a little bit- um, uh, We can actually lively. go here and then make a left. Okay. So we're just gonna come out towards the back of this street here. Yeah. As you can see down this way again, there's deliveries because over there, they're building a new structures going up. This is a little grocery store. Right now it's closed. There is a bigger supermarket here on the island, which we're going to take you to shortly. Again, thank you for sticking around. We understand this is going to be a long video, but we hope it helps you, especially if you're planning on coming here, you'll get an idea of where everything is. Or maybe if you're just curious about what the Maldivian local islands look like and how they are set up for tourism. They're actually very different. Uh, we are than here resorts, right? than from each other itself. Right. They're very different from each other. Uh, we are doing uh, the entire Maldives series. We're here for a month and we have filmed so many videos. This is a paddy dive center. So this is located right next to Triton. We're back to where we just entered the hotel from the front there and we walked across the hotel to the back so we're back out to the front here 
So if you love diving, they have a huge dive uh, company here. This is Sting Stingray Beach Inn. And of course they have a restaurant outdoors. Hi, how are you? It's another And they also have a spa. Inn. Ooh, and jacuzzi. <laughs> so right nice to the <laughs> Awesome. And there's a hammock, lounging areas. And cats. Table. Cool. And there's yes, cats everywhere. If we haven't mentioned it, there's cats everywhere. Okay, Ida. Mm -hmm. And there is the dining area as well. Really cool. This one is different than all the other ones that we've seen because it looks very like enclosed. There's a lot yeah. of shades, palm trees. Inside would be the reception area. There is foosball also and uh, the rooms. Where would be the rooms? Really cool. The, the hotel rooms, where are they located? Yeah. Oh, okay. there on, on the side. Down. Okay, so only the first floor yeah. is rooms. Okay, thank you. So it's really cool here. Thank you. So as we continue walking, we're now walking to the opposite side of the island from where initially we started. Here's another store, bathing suits, hats, souvenirs, yes. sunscreen, which is very vital here because if you haven't seen our videos, you would know here in Maldives, the sun is no joke. Maldives is located right next to the equator. So the sun hits you at 90 degree angle, even if it's cloudy outside. So if you come into the Maldives and, and think, okay, it's an overcast day, I'm not going to put sunscreen, you will get burned. You'll get burned, that's for sure. Here's another store approaching the other side of the island. Seaside boutique. And this store has a very cold AC. <laughs> yeah. So here's another hotel and behind this one, they're actually building another one. So by the time you get here, you'll probably see another few hotels already built. This is Sunrise Beach again. Even though it's on the opposite side of the island, you can see how close it is to the Bikini Beach. It is literally a three minute walk. And here's a tuk-tuk that will bring your luggage from the dock where we started. This is the reception area. Hi, Hello. how are you? So the reception area, there's a pool table, lounging area. And most of these um, hotels, when you do arrive, they have a welcome drink for you. And this is their buffet setup area for breakfast or lunch. Sunrise Beach Restaurant. So because their lobby doesn't have one in here, they actually have one on the outside of the hotel. It is so hot outside, I'm literally burning. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take a break in a few and get ourselves coffee and coconut or something. Yes, ice coconut yes, would be ice nice coconut. right now. Because we knew this video was going to be a long one, there's a lot to cover. And looking to the right, and in this direction I'm looking, that's where the prison is located, all the way at the end, like we showed you when we were on the roof. You see how wide the streets are, but to the left here, we have the playground. Yes, it's a really big one and it looks awesome. It's a nice setup for kids again right now. It's very hot outside, so there is no one here. So I guess it's in the evening time. The local families will come out and they'll bring their kids or visitors who have kids. They'll come out here and bring their kids if they're not kind of swimming and stuff. They'll come here and play. It's really cool. It's cool to have an option. Yeah. Here is this structure here is a restroom. We're going to walk around the front now so you can see it. But we're going to point out something very important yeah, this where is we're going to need your attention, attention, attention. No bikini zone. No bikini zone. As we mentioned before, if you did not know, there is a bikini beach and this is not it here. So if you are wearing a bikini in this area or you're not covered appropriately, you are either disrespecting or you need to do your research when coming to the Maldives. Here's the male and female restroom and just some shaded area where you can just come and chill and relax. A lot of people come on this side because this is where the sun rises. And as you can see, some local fisher fishermen boats are located on this side as well. And you see how calm it is. There's a reef out there that stops the waves from coming in. It's really peaceful and quiet here. And here the water is actually way clearer than it is on the other side. And calmer. By the beach. Yes, definitely. 
you see a lot of uh, picnic tables here maybe in the evening you can bring some snacks and just relax here this is not a sunset side though the sunset side is where all the hotels main hotels are mm -hmm. and the children's playground continues here So again, if you're coming with your family and you have young ones and you want them to kind of run around and play and get some energy out, this would be a great place. As you can see, it's also kind of like padded with the uh, fake grass, so it's not like all sandy or nothing like that. And here they do have a part which is sand. And you notice this side of the beach is much quieter. <laughs> because not too many people come to this side of the island because for the reason of of course no bikinis so they're not going to come here and tan they're going to go to the other side so that's what draws most of the people and here we have the exercise area where you have a bunch of machines that work out different parts of the body exercise park yeah in the evening time it would be really nice mm -hmm. well we did pass by here yesterday and we saw a couple girls working out and i'm like that is absolute dedication because it is hot out here <laughs> and to be working out on top of that is insane but commitment it is So on other videos that we have done here, we have uh, reviewed a couple of resorts. We've done a day trip to a resort as well. It's all separate videos. We got married here in the Maldives at Lux. So if you want to see what our um, wedding experience at the luxury resort was like, we will also leave the link in the description when it's available. Or just subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification so you don't miss when we publish that video. That's right. We covered everything about the Maldives you would want to know before coming here. And there's a lot you would want to know and need to know. Uh-oh. We have a bikini wearer. Eh, eh, eh. Don't be that person. Because there are signs everywhere that says no bikinis. So you always find people who kind of do their own thing and really just don't <laughs> care. And by them saying it's no bikini beach, it really has to do with culture. That's their culture. And religion. And religion, yes. So by you doing that, that's your, in a sense, disrespecting. Yeah. So that's not cool. Um, yeah, there's a resort again. We're on the tip of the island. Swimming distance away. <laughs> yeah. I saw someone. Oh, there he is. I saw someone fishing out there. And look how far he is. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there he goes in the center of the frame. And he's just fishing and the water's up to his like waist. That's insane. He's all the way out there. But again, the reef is there. That's why it's so shallow. And here is also a park where there are just few trees, uh, hanging chairs where you can relax and just maybe read a book or have a refreshing drink. As we are making our way back to the center of the island, Mafushi Harbor, where we started this video, we will take you through several streets with shops with that where you can see what they have to offer here at Mafushi. So we are here back on the main strip where Mr. Octopus restaurant is. As you can see, these are all the tour companies and we're just going to cut in now on one of the side streets and show you what some of the stores look like that you can expect see a lot of motorcycle bikes Here they have the atoll map. So this is Kafu Atoll. We are here at Mafushi. 
and this is uh, uh, Guli Island is uh, one of the islands where they take you on a tour uh, one of the stops so and all the way over there is Mali and Pulu Mali there. So as you can see, this is the atoll. This is what they call an atoll. It's this entire area. This is this called a Kafu atoll. Mm -hmm. This is where in the atoll you'll have all these different islands. Island resorts and different islands. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying, let's say, at Kani Beach, you would not access Kani <coughs> Palm Resort uh, for the airport. Yes, at the time of the and access the rooftop school. Now the stores are beginning to open up because they finished with their afternoon prayers. Mm -hmm. Here's an art store. store. Art store. Good evening. Travel food, travel food, and travel food. Uh-huh. Looking more trips. There's a beauty salon, which is I really think cool. It's not a salon. I think it's just a beauty store. Store, where right, where you can get uh, beauty products, lipsticks, face um, powder, makeup, stuff but like that. the funniest that. thing, they have club wear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maldivian club wear. Do you want to see what it looks like? Here again, more souvenirs. As you can see now, they're all open. And here, when you go to stores, you have to take your shoes off. Yes, that's when you know if the stores are open also. If you see slippers outside, you know they're open. Hi, here how are you? Clubwear. So we're looking for clubwear. <laughs> so again, magnets, souvenirs. Okay, tie-dye. Got some tie-dye stuff. Oh yeah. Clubwear, I can uh -huh. see. I like clubwear. Really cool stuff. I like this shirt. Yeah, I was looking at this oh, is look nice. At this one, I wish it wasn't so thick. If it was thin, like if the you other see one. This one. Oh, so it's the same. Oh, really nice in colors. Four How much are these? Oh, this one sixteen. One six. One six. Fifteen hundred dollars more than the regular typical white ones. Yeah. And oh, the yeah. burgundy color. Short oh, sleeve. Oh, short sleeve ones Medium, too. Though. Hmm? Medium. Medium. This is the biggest one. Yeah, they have in multiple colors. I like these because they're so soft. And wow. thin. And thin, yeah. Awesome. Well, here you see more clothing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The stores are so nice with the AC, but as oh. soon as you walk outside, you get pelted with this heat. This heat is no joke, guys. Oh, he's coming in. Thank you. Here you have smileys, I think it's called, and of course cats everywhere. And I have to stop Irina from petting because she wants to pet every single cat she sees. And we're just gonna keep it moving. <laughs> and again, more stores. And a lot of stores sell pretty much the same things. Mm -hmm. and the price is always uh, pretty much the same. Yeah, and you can do a little bit of bargaining, I would suggest you do, and you know, sometimes they'll knock off for a couple of dollars off the off the cost. It's a fashion store. And remember I told you about the supermarket that we were going to visit? It's right here. Lily Spencer. It's a funny name for a supermarket actually. See, everywhere is open now. Prayer time is over. Let's go inside the supermarket. 
the poop spot. Hello. Nice one dollar. It's um, a lot of times there is no price here, and you just kind of have to go with. When you get to the register. Yeah, surprise at the register. <laughs> so chips. Yeah, there's no. There's no prices on there. Um, only twenty Mardivian. Which is going to be about a dollar fifty. This one is a little over two dollars. So normally, you guys, if you've been watching our channel, you know we always going to whenever we visit a country, we would go in and we would tell you the price in supermarkets in the local supermarkets. Unfortunately, we can't do it in this one just because there's no pricing on much of the stuff if you're really on the budget all hotel rooms have cattle so you can always get a cup of noodles yeah pizza and some water some water this one was actually good which one was it was it tam yam yeah i like tam yam the tam one was, was, good. was good yeah this one was really good oh yeah this one was really good we had that one too and here are various juices again there's no prices on this stuff uh, so i had the nescafe coffee and i think it was about two oh they have peach red bull could you get that for me awesome thank you yes. hello so but at least we'll find out what the peach red bull is i know in the states arizona iced tea like this would cost about a dollar or in some places a little over a dollar not sure how much it costs here but this is a cool supermarket because it has a little bit of everything so since um, you're on the local island, you're not allowed to drink alcohol, but you will find Heineken. However, it is zero alcohol. Yep. And there is some other beers. You can see zero, zero. Yep. But we showed you the loophole of going on the boat. If uh -huh. you would like to get some drinking, or you can also do a day pass to resorts. There are no prices here. There are no prices on anything, not even little stickers. So again, sorry about that. Otherwise, we would love to tell you the price of things here, which would be cool. Um, I'll get a snack. Do you have any waffle? Did you see any of the little waffle things that you normally get? Here's dark waffle. I guess something like this. You oh, but this is the good one. Yeah, uh -huh, this is the good one. So we'll try this. We'll see how much that is. Well, as you can see, the supermarket has a little bit of everything, which is really cool. On the other local islands we've been on, you can't get this type of variety. Let's walk down the aisle. So how much was the Red Bull? So and the this is 50 rufia, which is just under $4. Uh -huh. And this is, well, how much is it? 12, 12 so which is just under a dollar so here you have pickles and more noodle stuff spices powdered milk over here you have your canned tuna spaghetti sauce mayonnaise apple juice Let's see here you have your frozen items chicken here we have some spices and of course here you have your cleaning products some cheese fresh vegetables and fruits pretty cool there's some more fruits here oh hello some cakes <laughs> omg it is hot Again, we hope this video is helping you <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. You notice there's Magnum being advertised everywhere. Magnum is that um, ice cream and a stick. Shop that sells souvenirs. Here it looks like the hotel is about to go up. We have no side streets. Uh -huh. Some of the construction actually looks like it's been halted. 
Like you don't see anyone working on it. Look down the street, just regular homes. There's a villa on the other side. So we're gonna go down that block in a little bit and come back up before heading towards the harbor again. And then taking you to the other side of the island. So stick with us. Beach house. Teams. Beach house. But this is prestige. So this might be a. Looks like they have rental rental bicycles to get around the island. That's cool. So we again walked all the way across to the opposite side. See, again, Triton has their own excursions and pretty much the same, the same. Uh, resorts that they offer. And again, the prices are almost the same. So these are all like one day yeah, one day, one day trips. You can go to other islands and visit them, resorts, so you can yeah, see Planche what the Exotica like. is actually the most expensive. It's $175 per person, mm -hmm. and it says it's 20 minutes away. Which is not bad at all. again really cool and again calm waters on this side clear really beautiful okay we are now continuing our walk we're going to walk down one more inner block and then head over to the area where all the tour packages are. And if we continue down this path and go straight, we will eventually get to the jail, which I'm not sure we're going to do in this video. It's a nice swing area. What hotel is this? Oh, they have two areas here, it looks like. Oh, this is two individual hotels. So remember, Irina was talking about how they set things up for romance and stuff. This is cool how they have this set up. Maybe anniversary, engagement. Really cool. And this is Vilana. And that's a crow. <laughs> this is nice. And of course, their tours. They always ask you when you check them, are you planning on doing any tours? It's because they want you to obviously use their hotels to purchase tours. Uh, it's, it's the same hotel, right? Oh, really pretty. Hi, how are you? Hi. It's called Velana Beach. Velana Beach. Velana Beach. Uh, beautiful lunches getting ready to be served. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Here's 
Awesome. And the light dinners. Really nice. And that's <laughs> down on the beach? Yeah, this. this. Ah, this beautiful. This $70 per person and it already comes with uh, the menu, preset menu that you can choose from. Really Including nice. Including chocolate lava cake. Wink, wink. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and then candlelight dinner. On the candlelight dinner over there. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Really pretty hotel. Mm -hmm. So as you can see on both sides of this island there are really nice hotels. Spas and salons, hair salon, but there is only one nail salon uh -huh. here. And to remove acrylic nails. They charge $35. This is Rehendi Villa. Let's take a look inside and see the Oh, this also looks kind of pretty. This is the first time we're actually venturing on this part of the island. Really pretty. Hi, who are you? Oh, really pretty. I have this little area here. TV lounge and a pool area. Really nice how the vines come over and hang out. And the pool is quite large. Yes. Really pretty. And this hotel is actually quite affordable. I think it is about $50 per night. And that's the Triton Hotel up there where we we're just looking at and they also have an infinity pool up there as well so it seems like all of these bigger hotels now that are the newer ones that are being um built they all have an, an infinity pool and here is for prayers it's one of the uh mosques i believe so that's for prayers. Mm -hmm. Oh, get a haircut. I was just wondering. I was like, oh, barbershop. Oh, my, my boy. <laughs> and here we have a hardware store. <laughs> and it's funny, the island is so small, so you see the same all around. So if you are on the boat, on the transfer boat with some people and you make friends oh yeah you will definitely run see them again into the... <laughs> so just hope you don't have get into any problems with anyone because you're going to be seeing them a lot <laughs> here's um arena collections again more stores and i'm trying to walk in the shade <laughs> <laughs> as always <laughs> oh, they sell some coral large corals here yeah, beautiful coral. any of you are into corals collections And again down here, more stores, but we're not going to go through every street because I know this video is going to be long as it is, but I know you guys are getting the idea of how, and like Irina mentioned, like all the stores you see one, you kind of see them all. Oh, Only some of them have a few one. things. Black pearl. Black pearl. And as we're walking, we're trying to show you different hotels, different options. So I think the hotels, yeah, are definitely the most... Uh, wanted. <laughs> yeah. And here's another one. Maladiwa. Maladiwa Beach Beacon and Spa. Spa. And look at all the slippers. Yeah. This <laughs> looks like more of a shop and a restaurant. Yeah, let's see here. Shop our slippers. This looks pretty nice. That's beautiful. Hello, how are you? Is it Thai? Is it the Thai cuisine? Thai restaurant? Yeah. Thai? Uh -huh. Okay. So we actually met um, two ladies earlier today and they said that they ate here at Maladiva. Oh yeah. Oh look at the, sli the slipper rack. Like oh yeah, that's right. This is the one that they said they didn't like. Yeah, it looks really nice. Here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good really nice setup. Good afternoon. Really pretty.
here. This is the dining area. People are having lunch. So the weirdest thing is when you come out or go into a place and you have to find your slipper. <laughs> so make sure you have a slipper that you can recognize it real easy. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? Yes, you can have a lunch, dinner here. Ah, lunch and dinner, and you, you serve. Oh, so you do photos as well? No, we don't do, but you can do it. Oh, yeah, I just did. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I just did. Okay. Thank you. And here you can serve that different uh, yeah. menu where they have lunch and dinner options. White shell. And again, we're almost at the end. It's really, really close. Um, it's like, let's see, one, two, three, four, it's about maybe six blocks in width in certain parts of the island. It smells like Indian food uh -huh. right in the lobby. Smell so if you uh, like curry. curry stuff. Really nice. Really cool. Some more simpler style. But they also sell sandwiches and Indian snacks. Yeah, this is just a lot of Indian stuff here. And of course, more tours. That's all you're going to see here is tour after tour after tour. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you should come during sunset. It's gonna be a great view. But right now it will be very sunny. It's sunny. Oh, okay. Right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. So there it is. Sunset. Is it time to come to this restaurant? You know, we make our way up. Let's see what this looks like. There's a lounging area here. Okay, this hotel is very tall. So through the magic of editing, we will be up on the roof in three, two. And here we are, <sighs> after climbing some steps. You deserve some dinner. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? It's a restaurant area here. Pretty cool. Open area of seating. Chairs are not really put out. Yep, but here's the view. Another structure going up, which will probably be another hotel. They're building so fast, and then there's another hotel there, which is going to be built. We're going to head over in that direction. In just a few, there's the boat. We're getting closer to it. Yeah. The alcohol is being served. And there's the Bikini Beach in that area. Alright, so this is pretty much it for this touristy area. So of course, there are a couple of more streets. We're just not going to walk back and forth through every single street, but you get the idea of the main tourist area. And now we are going to transport back to our starting point, Mafushi Harbor, and walk the opposite direction to show you what the opposite side looks like. In three, two, one. And we are back at the Mafushi Harbor, just like that. So this is the opposite side. We're going to the opposite side of the tour area. The tour areas are all down that way. This way you'll find more restaurants and hotels. So we are moving a little bit away from the touristy area. However, it's still quite touristy and it is still um, very close to the beginning. And make sure you stick with us because we are going to take you to our favorite restaurant here on the island and we've tried quite a few restaurants and this one for sure is really good we've been here multiple times while staying here here you have a 
restaurant that sells your typical sandwiches, burgers, pizza. Here's the Harbor Cafe. Again, people are now getting ready for lunchtime. And right behind the palm trees, this street is lined with hotels and hotels that are being built. And we are passing by that tallest hotel that we showed you from the rooftop. Yep, there it is, all concrete. You can tell it's going to have an infinity pool by the way the structure is here. Of course, we are walking along the water side. Alongside the harbor. Mm -hmm. This is Summer's Summer Kitchen and Bakery. And some of these places we haven't really ate at because we usually speak to locals. We ask them what's, our, what's their favorite spot to eat based on what's available and that's kind of how we kind of choose where we're going to eat. And if you've been to Makushu before and you have restaurant recommendations, again, share it with our JBO community yes. and leave a comment which restaurant did you like best. Absolutely. There's a small little store where you can get beverages, ice cream. And here you will see these fellas. I wouldn't get too close if I were yes. you. Yes, um, I, I actually not planning to. They are chained. These parrots belong to ICOM Hotel and they are chained morning and night here. They told us that sometimes they let them go, let them fly, and they always come back. But the reason why they're chained is because they, their restaurants here are outdoors, and these parrots actually come to tables and harass tourists and try to eat their food. So that's the reason why they're chained, because we were wondering, it's kind of sad to see them here chained up for most of the day and they can't fly. But we heard they can be a little aggressive and they bite people. That's what the actual um, host of the hotel mentioned to us. Because when we asked her why they are, why they can chain, that's when she explained. So kind of sad, but they are still just beautiful birds. But I wish they weren't chained up like this. So pretty. And this is the entrance to I Am Hotel in earlier in the video. I mentioned that they do tours, they do transfers, they do Wi-Fi, and this is their outdoor buffet area. We have breakfast here. No breakfast, yeah. Honestly, we did not have much luck with hotel breakfast. Even in, at Kani, the breakfast is below average yes yeah. it's definitely below average you're getting hot dogs and you're getting eggs made your way but you're getting it with hot dogs and just eh, just not good breakfast at all yeah we paid uh, eight five dollars for a night of good breakfast that would be extremely small this is the lobby and, so the and they, they bring drinks to you as well Their Wi-Fi is pretty yes. good here. Yeah, the only good thing about this hotel is their Wi-Fi is extremely good. This is actually the best Wi-Fi we've seen anywhere in the Maldives. It was 50 megabyte download and 30 upload, so we can easily stream from here if we have time. And speaking of Wi-Fi, throughout the islands, if you go to different restaurants, they all have Wi-Fi and, of course, the hotels. And it's decent. It's enough to kind of... You know, check your email, social media stuff. You know, it wouldn't be a problem. Sometimes they drop, but they drop just for a little while and they come back on. So it's not that bad. This area, you can see just again, entertainment center here for the hotel. Hotel being built. is the most commercial island we've been on. And here is um, Laguna. Laguna Sunset. As you can see down this street, we're not going to go, but all those white bags, that's all uh, concrete um, powder. I can mix the concrete. Another building being built, and you could actually see people up there working on that. So that one's going up too. So this just tells you, and then obviously this one in front of us, these hotels are going up like crazy. And this is Laguna Sunset. 
reception and just uh, some tables for your breakfast options. And this street is literally far out of the meat street and over here you get the shade yeah so i'm sure you guys probably noticed by now the streets here are all dirt and flip-flop is the preferred footwear when here in the maldives <laughs> there's one car that's rare to see Yep, everyone just puts their stuff on to dry. In the hotels, when you look up at the hotel balconies, all you see is um, shorts and t-shirts. Everyone just drying their stuff on the beach. Here's just a simple inn, small little inn here. And of course, another friendly cat. All the cats are super friendly. They come up to you. Here's Ocean Vista. Again, another little smaller hotel. Hi, how are you? Another structure being built there. Some restaurants. Brunch restaurant. Blunch. That said brunch. There's some coconuts. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that concrete tower in the center of the road. That's actually one of the guard towers. That's one of the newest guard towers that's being built. As you can see, there's scaffolding around the guard tower. So yeah, that's another guard tower being built. And we are almost at the end of our tour. I'm going to show you the last bit. We're actually at the end of this uh, street here, this walkway. And it's just up ahead here. And again, we thank you guys. If you're still watching, we thank you so much for sticking with us to this point. We know it's been long. Their mosque is actually, the main mosque is down this street here where they do their prayer. Welcome to Moonlight, Moonlight. Mountain. Yes, and this is our favorite. <laughs> so we met Tim, he's a diver um, here come, and he's in Maldives for a while. And he go, goes diving every single day. So here it's really cool. Concept. Yeah, it's like white sand, really nice powdery fine sand, a bunch of bean bags. But comes dinner time. Oh, it's awesome. This place transformed. They literally have uh, lighting. This is it. when you walk, you cannot miss it. They oh, yeah. Have pink lights up the trees. There's they a lot have, of up lighting they yeah, have. Live, live music. Um, it's a start at 8, but it's, every time it starts at actually 9 p.m. Uh -huh. And here you see all these shakers, but yes, it is non-alcoholic drinks, so you can get all these different mocktails, but it's just all, um, it's all just mixed virgin. drinks. There's, yeah, it's all virgin, there is no alcohol. How are you? So really cool area. Right now it's empty, but evening time. It yeah, is really everyone comes out and they have live entertainment. As Irina mentioned before, there's a really good singer. And that's the evening, but also cats. There are so many oh, yeah. cats. I think cats. in this area, this is the most cats we've seen. All island cats probably come here for dinner or something. Yeah. And in this area, we notice there is the least flies that you get. Mafushi is. A fly island, oh, a fun island, and fly fly island. So yeah, for flies, uh, and uh, we actually created a first impressions of Mafushi. If you missed that video, we will leave the link in the description below. And uh, this is it. Yeah, if you go just a few meters down, there is just a, a wall separating the prison to from the rest of the island. And uh, we highly recommend you to come check this place out for dinner. If you enjoyed this Mafushi walking tour, be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We thank all our members for supporting our channel and if you would like to contribute, consider becoming a member or just click that heart button below this video. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, just, just be out, out with us. us.